Yes, and Sue, the stock has continued to rise. The stock has continued to rise. We continue to get new headlines. We know that the, the uh, Tesla CEO has refiled his disclosure form to indicate he's now an active investor because he's been named to the board. Check out the huge surge in the stock, the biggest two-day gain in its history, up 27% on the initial disclosure, which was announced just 24 hours ago or became came to be known, and now on being appointed to the board another surge. If you go into the Bloomberg, you'll see the huge surge in trading volume as well. And in terms of reaction from within Twitter, the former CEO now on the board, uh, Jack Dorsey, said he's delighted. Uh, he leaves the board later in the year. And the current CEO, Parag Agrawal, also tweeted out his excitement and embracing of uh, Musk on the board. What's interesting is that by naming um, Musk, to the board, which came as a surprise to many because it came so lightning quick. That also is a strategic move, many analysts say, because it limits his uh, stake in the company to below 15 percent, so that prevents any undue influence or possible takeover. Again, we saw Musk refile after that appointment to indicate he is now an active investor as opposed to his initial classification, which rose, made eyebrows raise, indicating he was a passive Passive investor. Again, Twitter's stock has been under pressure since late 2021, so a lot of questions about what happens going forward. But we do know that Musk had tweeted right after the big news came out about the filing yesterday. He put out a Twitter poll. Did his followers want to see an edit button on Twitter? We already heard from the Twitter management that they've been working on this apparently for the better part of a year and are planning to do so. So that is also a indicated many say that there's been conversations perhaps between Musk and internally with Twitter for some time now. Yeah, analysts have been scrambling to make sense of all these changes. What are they saying? Well, you know, they're still processing it, as, <laughs> as we say. But the general view is that it's better to have Musk on your side and on your team than not. He certainly has the ability to rocket stocks higher, as we've seen with the Twitter stock. And there is also a view uh, that uh, he is going to shake things up a little bit. In fact, one of his tweets recently was that he planned to shake up uh, social media. So it's expected that there will be some high profile discussions, if not conflict, with the current CEO, Parag Agrawal. Now, a lot of questions about his intent. What does he want to do? There was a tweet in addition to the one that recently went out about the edit button. Uh, did a lot of uh, Musk followers think that Twitter had a problem with freedom of speech? So freedom of speech could be an issue going forward. But again, many close observers of Elon Musk say, is it really about freedom of speech or is it really about freedom of Elon Musk's speech? As you know, the SEC has been monitoring his tweets. Uh, he's not too happy to have a so-called Twitter sitter. And this may be an end run, some say, around that. Back to you.